A quick lesson from the Polish Uprising. Hey everyone, Dylan Schumacher, Citadel Defense. And a friend informed me recently that uh, the Polish Uprising started on August 1st. The Polish Uprising, uh, which I, the Warsaw Uprising, excuse me, was an uprising when the Russians were pushing the Germans back in World War II. And as they got close to Warsaw, uh, there was an uprising of the Poles who lived there in order to try to, you know, liberate their city um, and hopefully be supported by the Russians and drive the Nazis out. Well, the uprising all in lasted about 63 days, and there seems to be some kind of debates here and there about what happened. But in general, the accepted story is the Russians stopped and allowed the Germans to crush the rebellion, which again lasted about 60 some days, and then proceeded to continue the attack against the Germans. The Poles were airlifted in some supplies from Britain, and uh, America made an attempt, although I guess most of them ended up in German hands. And again, eventually the uprising did not succeed. It, it, was, it was crushed by the Nazis. And let's be honest, the Wehrmacht at that time was a brutally efficient killing machine. And as I was learning about this historical event that was new to me and, and I thought was an interesting piece of history, I thought, if it comes down to it, you're on your own. Now, I mean that both in the immediate sense, like, hey, if you're going out to the parking lot late at night and someone robs you, no one is coming to save you. It's up to you. Uh, when a person is standing a couple feet away with you from you and they have a knife or a gun or whatever and they're threatening your life because they want your materials, no one is coming to save you. It's up to you. So I hope that you've been training and doing your dry fire and I hope that you have your gun on you and I hope that you have that sucker chambered because now is the time when all that's going to come together. And either you're going to have the skills to solve it or you're not. No one is coming. It's up to you. I also mean that in the other sense where if things go really, really bad, and uh, let's say somehow this assault weapons ban actually gets made law, which I think is ludicrous, and stands up, and we have to do something else, no one is coming. It's up to you. Additionally, if you live in a red area or a blue area, and the communists seem to be taking over your local library, because that's what they really like targeting these days, and doing all, teaching all kinds of materials that aren't appropriate to children, and you think, man, this is really horrible. I wish someone would do something about this. No one's coming. It's up to you. Now, sometimes in history, you lose. That's just how life goes. However, it is much better, I think we can all agree, to have fought either physically with violence or by going to city council meetings or writing complaint letters to your local library or making sure to get certain school board members unelected. It is much better to have fought and lost or fought and died than have stood by and done nothing while your entire city or civilization falls to pieces around you. If you look out in your current living situation and there's something you don't like, I just want to remind you Nobody's coming. It's up to you. Do brave deeds and endure. <laughs>